Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Finishing up the epilogue so we can get some closure in this game and try to figure out what happens uh, with John before it moves on to Red Dead Redemption, the, uh, the first game. We are right around the corner here and we're meeting up with them over there. I don't know who this is. AC. It's not ringing a bell, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, we'll hitch our horse right here. Not a problem. Man, our horse gets real dirty real fast. Good work today. Good work today. All right. What we got? Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. Ha <laughs> ha, joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know. Yeah. Tell me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee you're home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, uh -huh, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. Left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. They're Skinner's about. We need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. All right. This sounds wonderful. I know the quickest way. Follow me. I know the quickest way to get shot, Charles. That's what you're saying to me. Come on, now. This isn't my first time. Not my first rodeo on this one. So I've been trying to think of uh, things hey, I can do with this series. Is your friend a Negro or a red skin? Hold on a second. Uh, wait, think a wait for the conversation to end. Cash is cash. So it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No, wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right, I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon, but I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. We're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. What were you saying? People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. 
When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. Fantastic. We're here. So what I was saying. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Yep. You know something bad's gonna happen here. Um, but what I was gonna say is with the um single player series, what I'm thinking about doing is uh, possibly restarting with Arthur again and then just doing the side mission stuff. Like I said, not the main storyline, you know? A, an acquired taste. Because I do miss... Let me do the talking. Okay. I do miss uh, Arthur. There he is, working away. Working away. I miss him and I think it would be uh, fun to uh, do the side missions with him. <laughs> Nils. Nils, it's me. It's Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils? Okay. <laughs> what? So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. <sighs> okay. All right then, Beecher's Hope. Yep, head They've back to Beecher's Hope. They've been that property for some time, haven't they? I took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me, but more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World oh, League. we got... Oh, shit! That's not good. Everyone find some cover! Yep. Was it Indians? Yes. Looks like it. It's dead. Nope, those are skinners. There. Yeah, I see, I see the skinners. You're okay, okay on that one. It's just one over here. You little shit. Goodbye to you. Get in cover, come on, man. Come on, bitch. Willard, how you hold up there? Oh, yep, yeah, they're trying to flank us here. Boom, boom. Get some better cover over this side. Oh, this shit. Oh, yeah. You're dead. Little shit. Come here, you. Yep, peek. Peek around that corner. Bye. This one right here, too. Ah, making sure he's dead. I'm going over here. Oh, really? You shot a horse, you dipshit? I think you did. Come to the wagons. I'm at the wagons. All right. You alive? For now. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. Is that the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. Oh, them sons of bitches. All right, you stay here, guard the wagons. Charles, come on. Help me! 
Ooh, little sons of bitches. Ah, oh, fuck. So many of them. Holy shit. Why? Why don't you have your gun out, Marston? Yeah, I know, man. Crying. Watch out for that one. Dead. Where are you at, you little shit? I don't see him. Up in the tree, get him! Oh. I'm not dying. I don't think so, dude. Come on! Ah, shit! I ran out of the dead eye pretty quick. Yeah, I'm noticing that. Try to go on this side. Where you at, you little shit? I'm gonna go up on this tree. Oh, he's up there. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Bye. That's where they were, up in the trees. Okay, let's move. He took him down the hill. Okay, no time to loot. Gotta go after him. Um, ain't got shit. No, nope, that'll work. Get in cover. More. We've come the right way. Yeah, Ooh, this one's a little crazy, isn't he? Yeah, you're a little crazy one. Ah. Shithead. They're down the hill. Yeah, I know they're down the hill. They're like ghosts, as he just said. Good. You didn't get him? What in the shit was happening there? I shot him like so many times. Good God, didn't matter. You know what? We're gonna just go do a wheel here. Ah, the wheel them. Little shitheads. Going on the right over here. You fucker, they come right at you like that. I don't think so, dude. Really? Mr. Wayne, we're right here. Oh, that gun is no. <laughs> That's a shoddy. Wrong gun. I pulled out the wrong one. Yeah, we're going. Search the trees. Where's he at? Mr. Wade! Charles, I found the tools. Yep, there's the tools. Now where's Mr. Oh, shit. Shit. All right. He's dead. Damn, Charles. Oh, shit. Oh, I need that. Yeah, well, fast. Come we on. finally met the Skinners, didn't we? Let's go. Back to the road. Yep, getting back to the road. Wow. Yeah, I've been needing to stop by a place uh, at a gunsmith shop and clean all my guns because I'm out of gun oil. God damn it! A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Skinner. Everyone knows. Yeah, These are some me. crazy sons of bitches, man. They come right at you. I see the wagons up here. I think only one is still usable. They shot and killed the other horses. You all right, Karen? Aaron? Them. I got it. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. Dear Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Help me. Yep, I'm trying. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. On up. Wait for Charles. Okay. Oh Come on. Throw him up there. Nice. Got it. Come on. 
Come on, guys. I take it forever. Come on, Charles. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. All right, we're going. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, we're gonna try. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. Uncle! Uncle! Uh, uh, Uncle! I was, uh, you useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. See. All right, we gotta go meet up with Uncle, which I guess he's just Morning, right God. over here. Morning. What I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna ride into Blackwater, and I'm gonna get some things taken care of here. Like we've got to get our guns in order because they are currently not that great. We don't even have a gunsmith here. Okay, well that's good. Uh, closest gunsmith? That gonna be Strawberry? Probably. Not even there. Okay. Oh, well, there's not a uh, gunsmith anywhere near here. Let's run over here and talk to Uncle. Get things rolling. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's... Inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. While you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six-foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? He'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this.
saw in a board and I'll cut it I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind whenever No matter what the weather We're together And I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you, and that is I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. A few days later.
Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Well, that was really cool. And look at that. We got a gold. What did you have to do to get it? Uh, hammer the nails with an 80% accuracy, complete within three minutes and 35 seconds. Yeah, I was just like nailing it. <laughs> like, well, literally nailing it over and over again. Um, but yeah, that's really cool. The way they built the house uh, reminds me of whenever I lived in Montana. We we actually built a house uh, from scratch. We had to put the, the foundation in and, and build it all the way up. It was a two-story home. Um, and we actually built the... Uh, fireplace out of the boulders on the mountain, which was really cool. A very, very difficult task. I think uncle's in town or something. Uh, a difficult task indeed, but well worth it. Um, I learned a lot of viable lessons in life from that experience uh, out there in Montana. Look at that though. It's the actual house without the barn. Spoilers. Okay. Getting a little sidetracked here. But that was neat. I like that little montage they did with the music and stuff. Is Uncle up, up here? I don't know where he's located at. Oh, Uncle, where are you? Yeah, he's up here being a dumbass. What are you doing up here? Is he okay? He's under the tree over here. Oh, no. Ah, oh, he's sleeping. Just one time, I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin, so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Well, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, well, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Oh, my horse got uh, over here magically. I can't move like I used to. Yeah, yeah, we know, Uncle. Okay. I was just talking about the uh, barn, and it looks like that's what we're going to be building. Or that's what we're going to be doing water. next. Let's go. All right. There, girl. Come on. Yeah. Now, this fella probably saw you. Thought, here's some corn husk idiot. Some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> Uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Uh, I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't <laughs> let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. Ain't we got furniture. Well, we'll have to do that. I guess we're going to get a uh, barn before we do any of that. Let's go talk to the lumber salesman again. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily. I'm sorry. I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? 
Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer and I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, I, I, but this man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... you got any work? Kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I'm... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <whistles> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <whistles> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. Well, I guess I we're gonna go gunsling with Sadie again. This bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay. Painted Sky. Oh! Almost ran into him. <laughs> that would have been bad. Alright, the painted sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long we'll stay that way. Okay. Oh, come on, Sadie. You always do this shit. You always do this shit where you cannot figure out how to get around carriages. I've got to teach you a couple things about that. Come on. So, yes. You and said you were following me. Salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's got to be him. Hold up, waiting on some out. And we're going to get to him first. Can't wait. The John needs hey. money. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios. And some regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. Charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I'd vacation. Come on. But it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice weren't what I heard about them. Got a hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. 
I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. Sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. This will leave the horses right here. Hitch him up. Need my good gun off of that horse, please. This is a repeater. That's not even my. Ooh, the other one is going to be needed too. Uh, you know, what? let's get the Lancaster repeater and I'm thinking I'll just take this and the shoddy because we haven't used the shoddy very much. Yeah, we'll have to do that. It's our secondary weapon. There we go. Let's see what kind of fun we've got in here in store for us. Let's check the barn first. That's what I'm thinking. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Sounds good. Right. That's what I was going to do anyway. Time to break the lock. Ramon Cortez, we've come for you. Uh-oh. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you. Come oh, you son of a bitch. Right behind me. You fucker. I don't you think so, him. dude. I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Damn. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? Oh, took my it's hat away. There now. Well, nobody got time for that. We gotta follow Sadie now. That hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Newberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Sure oh, about that? Up. Man, haven't been to Rhodes in forever. This place still gives me the creeps. Mm-hmm. Hit your horse up here. You and me both. Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Yep, I'll get him. Grab him off the back of your horse here. Or not. There we go. Come on. I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred. Three hundred. Yeah, I don't think so. Mr. Sheriff. Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. Hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? 
I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are going to ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> Thomas, Ruh -roh. Sheriff Thomas, we want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let him have it, boys. Oh, shit. Cortez, you son of a bitch. Why did he kill you? I don't that guy right there. Get the other gun out. We have our shotty. Oh yeah, we do. You done? You done? Why still Out of the way. There you go, Sadie. You kind of blocking me a little bit. Just bad. Oh, you sons of bitches. Oh my god. Okay, they are not retreating, and I can't get out of that animation. Run this way. Get into some cover. We've got to use our other gun, man. That thing is just not working too well because I think it's too dirty. Damn horse in the way. Not doing that. We're going to kill our horse in the process. Yeah, that's the, that's the cover I wanted right there, John. Perfect. Where you at? Oh, that's, oh, you're a bad dude. Okay. They're running scared. Yeah, they're running scared. Right around the corner here. He's dead. Oh shit! What was it? Come on! The jail! The jail! They're blowing out they the back of the jail. They jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Wasting time here negotiating. Let's get the hell out of here and go get this dumbass again. No way, horsey. Oh, I dead you. Come on, lady. Interesting things Where for animation sometimes. He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Yeah, sure. let's do it. You've had some. Bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, 
He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's not a thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we'd take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. I don't know. Usually. If I got into who deserved what, second-guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. All right. Hold up. Oh. Down there. A fire. Yeah. There. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Can we get our hat? That's the question. John's classic hat. There we go. Like, we gotta have my hat. Actually, you know what? We're gonna be going in like an outlaw today. Let's do uh, Arthur's hat. Yeah. I like it. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. They're right here, you say? Let's go up. As you wish. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get him. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. Oh, we'll try. We'll try to shoot well. Put this guy over here on the left first. Where are we at here? Oh, yeah, there she is. And him. Hey! Nice hey, job. Man. Nailed him. Oh, he's out of uh out of range. You next. On the left here. Ooh, hello. Trying to reload it. He dead. He's dead. Oh, yep. Sometimes you can get it to uh, reload. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh, shit. Too close to that. Oh, you little shit. Oh, you little fucker. Moving around so much. Well, you see me, don't you? Well, you're dead now. Move right when I'm doing that reload, I swear. There you go. There we go. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold on. Alright, what we got? Get our uh, repeater out. Arcana rifle or the bolt action rifle. I don't even have an option. Well, I guess we're going to switch over to this gun for a second for short close combat okay? I see him over there oh, he dead another one over here Hold on. cover 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 oh 
terrible cover right there. Get over here. I'm trying. Hold on a second. Oh, up on the ridge. I'm shooting him. Another one dead. Come here, you fucker. Oh, shot his hat off. He dead. Moving up. Stady. Oh, shit. I can't see anything. Come on. Uh, animation of falling. That's good. We're going. We're moving. You sons of bitches. One to the left. Yep. Well, only to get his arms. Couldn't get his head at all. But he's dead. He better be dead. Yeah, he dead. Another one up here. Not anymore. We're moving. Oh, so close to getting that guy. You little shit. I'm staying with you. There he is. He's almost at that boat down there. I get him. Oh, you little shit. More. I'm clearing the beach. Quit yelling at me. Trying to help you. You still alive? Yeah, he is. That's what I'm doing, Sadie, for fuck's sake. Put your gun on the boat. Make him turn around. Don't kill him, just scare him. Okay. You wanna die right now, Cortez? <laughs> I'm going to die anyway. So you really want me to shoot you? You might get lucky in court. Get over here. All right, all right, amigo. I'm coming. Try anything clever, you're gonna get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. Get out of there! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I said, get out of there! Easy, easy, girl! Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. <sighs> hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Of course. Becky! Shut your gut down! Oh, oh shit. Uh, it's far from over. Get your other gun out, buddy. They keep coming. Right. Over this one. That one's crazy. You still alive? Yep. Not anymore. You're gonna have to come over here and get him. Come on. We might just be. Of a bitch. Yeah, was it. You was about to say. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. Like okay. Crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. Of course, I'm trying to put well this on clear. here. Thank you. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Time to go. Let's get the hell out of here. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time. Bounty. Up. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You follow me? I guess so. Let's go. You're a dead woman. You are a dead man. Far from it. But the Lobos will not forgive this. Bring <laughs> it. You hide, we will find you. We will oh, just hit him in the face with your gun, lady. kill me oh you let me go i'll forget about all this you see ramon what we got here is a trust issue oh i'm good for it you're tied up on a horse about to be taken to san Anita hang you ain't good for anything listen i swear of course because all you can do is swear but you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this ramon i couldn't trust you to pay me I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Cause 
is, you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. Damned a long time, my friend. Really? Come on. Mister. We ain't got far to go. That sunrise, that is incredible. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. Bring it. We're gonna go for you. Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Here we are. Yep. Back again. Looks like. Back here again. Maybe we can actually loot all these guys. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Get Ramon Cortez. Let's just finish this. Yeah, no big shit. Mistake. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. You just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Well, looky there, we got a barn. Well, this looks like uh, something that we know and love. Stay by this post. Look at this. Got the barn, the house, all the original stuff. I haven't been inside there yet. Let's check out the house. So crazy to see it in this uh, in this game. All redone. Man, look at this. That is amazing. House icon over here. The bed. That's how we fast travel. Nice. This is uncle nearby. I assume he probably is. Yeah. He's just up there underneath this damn tree again. Well, at least we have the option to fast travel again. That is awesome. Right, let's go see what, uh, what uncle wants. Trying to finish up some things here in the epilogue. I'll ride our horse up there. It'll be quicker. Look at that barn. Oh, he's at the barn. Okay. Off here then. No problem. What's he doing in there? You actually doing something? You sleeping? Wouldn't be surprised. No an uncle. Nope, he's outside in the back. How was your holiday? I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. A house, a barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four tack to Cathead. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rends, his pack 
the huntsman cheers. When horns and hounds the forest rend his pack, the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink of our and let us merry be. Our can is full, pump it out and then our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about it and let us merry be. Our can is full, let's fight it out and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> John, get out here. Uncle's gone. He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now. <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinners. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after them. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. Ah, oh, great. We're going after the Skinners again. Our boys. Let's go. They took Uncle. After Nato drinking. Road. We'll pick up the trail there. It's like we forgot about it. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Nope. Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Come on. Well, he's pretty chipper for uh, John, hangover. Look, we should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving him. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him, and we see, okay? We'll make it his call if we can. But it may be. Oh, that something? sounds terrible. Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. I guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Yep. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. Hey! Hey! <laughs> yeah. See what we got here as far as. All this goes. I'm gonna need. I need as much as I can to that. I need some. Uh, I oh, that's just outfits. And okay, I already have my gun. There we go. Oh, I can take the bow. Give them a taste of their own medicine if we're gonna stay. Come on. Yeah, I'll take my bow in that because I didn't use my other gun anyway. But it'll be nice to have a uh, stealth option. If we need to. Up there, to the right. Two skinners. Look out. Oh, yeah, I see. Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. Right in the face. Oh, down. Move. Yep, we're moving. I'll follow Charles. He's taking lead on this. Go ahead, brother. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. We'll get our arrows back. Yep. Where are you going? I'm going. Oh. Shush. Patrol to our left. Shh. Hold it. I'm holding it. We're going to let him pass. These guys are pretty crazy. They'll just run up on you and kill let you. Go. Get down. 
No, don't stand up. What is this doing? Okay. Easy. Easy. Clearly stay up. They come from the ranch. They'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. Guy can't see us. Burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old idiot. and sick. He won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go. I'm going. I'm going. How did I know we'd have to come and rescue this damn fool? Oh, there's a carriage. Oh, there Hold he on. is. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wagon. There. It's dragging someone. Is it uncle? No. No, nope, somebody else. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. He might lead us to the camp. <laughs> Right here. No. Crazy sons of bitches, I'll tell you that. He's stopping. What do you see? He's picking up. The poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Take him, John. Okay. Let's go. Got him. I think I see something. Uh-huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Definitely their Let's camp. Get up on that boulder. Take a look. Hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. Hanging over there. Go to the camp with this, okay. Alright. Don't go until we're sure. Oh. My god. Oh lord. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Behind Come us. On. Yep. Charles. Nicely done. Behind you. Shit, 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 shit. No, you don't. Come on. Bam. Well. Surprise is over. You're absolutely right. Watch out. Get down. We're here for you. Nope. Get that gun out. He's dead. Coming down. Coming down. Coming down. John, get down here. Come oh, God. We'll kick you out of this. Down for that fucker right there. He's dead. Here. Dead there. Let's go to the right. Look, they came for him. Yeah, we came for him. What did you think was gonna happen? I went up on top. What are they done to you? We gotta get you down. Okay, we've got some time. Let's get Uncle. Hunting him free. Come on. You're okay, old man. I look okay. You look off. You'll be okay. Those bastards. We got them. Oh crap. They really did a number on him. It looks like we got here just in time. They're just hooking him alive. Damn it. I'll carry him. Come on, Come on. Yep, here we go. Got him? Cause here come the rest of them. 
Quick! There's more of them! I'll cover you! Come on! Down that gully! Get me out of here! I'm we're trying here, we're trying. Oh, up here. Oh, shit. Come on, there you go, right there. Uh, you okay? Look after your uncle! Damn, can't even see him. Two for the price of one special right there. I got this. Oh, man. Get it wrecked. Another one. Oh, damn. Move it. Right there. I, I don't feel right. The horses are back. I think we're clear. Come on, get him on your horse. Don't, let, don't say we're Hold clear. Watch him from behind. Come on, old man. Move. Nope, that one right there. God is ass. You wouldn't want us to get a hold of you, boy. Where you at? Get up there. We're taking you home. Uh, oh. Got him. Peeking. Watch peeking there, bud. Let's go. There's so many of them. Escort Uncle Charles away from the camp. Oh, let's get the hell out of here. Let's get out of these woods. I'm getting. Yeah, we're trying. Oh, you got a shithead right here in front of us. Hold on for it. Run him over. <laughs> yep. Run him over with the horse. I don't give a shit. We're out. We ain't out till we're home. Right hard. Oh man. How's the back? I think it looks worse than it is. Burns don't always heal easy. Sure. But I think this will be fine. As long as it don't get infected. It's much better than I feared. Hear that, old man? This could have been worse. He's pretty weak. Yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you old bastard. Does it look okay? Nope. Doesn't look good at all. I'll be honest. Over here. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. Ah, I, can't, I can't hit my back. Oh. oh, don't let me fall, please. <sighs> Uncle. Uncle. Hey. <sighs> We're here. All right. Let's get you down. Be easy. I got you. I got you. <sighs> Come on. Let's get him out. Oh, thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. <sighs> don't get all sentimental now, old man. Then I'll really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? Yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? Yeah. You, your family, you all be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back.
You, you're. <laughs> I. You always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so he reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on! <laughs> All right, well, that, uh, that was an interesting mission and uh like abigail and jack are back and we are on the marston ranch together now how cool is that we got the chicken coop over here hello chickens any chickens in here yet doesn't seem like it but it's ready for them if they need when we uh when we get them well guys that is going to do it for this episode of red bring the feed sacks over to feed the chickens oh gotcha uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. We're going to uh, probably be finished with everything in the next episode. So thank you so much for all the support on this series. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.